boys and girls, ladies and gents, and members of the Big Red Food Army, it's your general, Big Red. And the reason I'm shirtless is because I just got finished bathing the cat. And you get wet, so I had to take the shirt off. So, we're here for another one of Big Red's snack attacks. And what do we have on you for you on deck today? Nothing more than Shasta Cola. Now, funny story about Shasta. I don't know where it's made. I don't know who owns it. Nor do I care. The only thing about Shasta is it's a different can than I remember as a kid. But this used to be the drink that my great grandmother used to drink. It's and, its own company. Huh? Its own company. Shasta Cola. And my great grandma lived through the Depression. So she was cheap. And she used to buy the cheapest sodas she could have or could find. And she bought this Shasta Cola and Tab. And I remember Tab was nasty, and I remember this was not, not as nasty as Tab, but it was still nasty. And it had a weird aftertaste. So I bought some, I bought a, they come in, now I found them at Big Lots. They come in four packs, not six, but four. So, here's to you. Here's to the great-grandma, his great-great-grandma, who he never known. Tastes like a cola. Um, it's not as bad as I remembered it as a kid. It's definitely not a Coke. It's not as acidic. It's definitely not a Pepsi because it's not as sweet. But it's like if them two hooked up and did the horizontal mambo and put heels to heaven, this is what it would be. It's like a mixture of Coke and Pepsi. It's like the bastard child of Coke and Pepsi, actually. What say if you? It just makes it, like, it, it's good, but it makes me want to do this. <laughs> and here's the baby who got me all wet. You want to come say hello to the peoples? Yeah, we had a quarantine from the rest of the house because <coughs> some kind of way some fleas got in the house. She's an indoor-only kitty. And it either came in through one of the cracks under the door or hopped on one of us. We like to blame somebody we know because their dog came around us and was rubbing on us. So we don't blame him and his mangy mutt. But she was infested. And when I found out, once I found out, I freaked out because she's the first animal that I ever had that had fleas. My so I, I uh, bathed her twice with her flea shampoo, and I mean they were just coming off of her, coming off of her. But still, she still had them, still had them, and flea eggs and whatnot. So I went to the. Uh, they bit her up so bad on her hind that she had a scab, and I went to the. Uh, I went to the old uh, vet and got some, uh, what they recommended was uh, Revolution. It's good for a month. Put it on the nape of the neck and it gets in their bloodstream. Kills it. It's better than Frontline because not only does it kill the fleas when they bite her, it keeps the flea eggs from hatching and it protects against mites and ticks and a few other things. That are not good for kitties. So. That's been a week. Since I've given her that medicine. So to this morning. Or this afternoon I should say. I bathed her. Got off the remnants of whatever might have been dead on her. Whatever fleas. Or flea eggs might have still been on her. After the medication. Worked for a week. And now. She's nice and clean. And presentable. Come on. 
I'm still too wet to be. Man. You wanna say hello to the peeps now that you're all clean and beautiful? So here I am. So here I am all clean and presentable. Cause daddy loves me. So anyway, let's get back to this review. Shasta Cola in a can, 12 ounces. Uh 130 calories, one serving size can. Uh, if you count your carbs, it's 33 carbs, 33 grams of sugar, 40 milligrams of sodium, no fat. So Shasta Cola, not as bad as I remembered it as a kid. Uh, that's his first time having it. I had it when I was even younger than his age. And I just remember it being real nasty. That and Tab. But realistically, it's not bad. How much did we pay for the four pack? Like a dollar... Dollar thirty-eight. Dollar thirty-eight. Dollar fifty or something. It was less than two bucks for, uh, for four cans of soda. And if you're on a budget... Hey. Pour it in a glass and I don't know if anybody would know the difference. So, with that being said, we're going to wrap this up. Over here is a subscription button. No, not over here. That's my nips. Um, over here is a subscription button. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. I'd appreciate it. And uh, Next to that is a notification bell. Click that. It will notify you when I have new content. Over here, thumbs up, thumbs down. Pow, pow, pow. Smash me or smash him with one. Just let us know that you're watching. We like these better. And in the middle, there's a description box. Open it up. Read it. Because I know that some of y'all don't read it because I've put stuff in there and y'all still ask me stupid questions that would be answered if you read the thing. So for those of y'all that don't read it, click that open. Read the description. And in there, you'll find links to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, there's a link to this channel's homepage where you can find all my older videos separated by series, snacks, Big Red Snack Attack, Big Red Brew Review, Fast Food Fat Man, White Trash Guide to Buffets across America, The Ghetto Gourmet, Comics from the Can. Yesterday, I just filmed my very first episode of uh, Gas Station Grubbin', so I'm sure that video will be up before this one. But anyway, yeah, just know that everything you see on here isn't always posted up in order of which I shot it. So that's a little behind the scenes knowledge. Um, you know, so I got it all separated by series so you can find your favorite one and make life easier for you. Because life's hard enough watching this big fat ass on YouTube shouldn't make it any harder. So... As always, tell your ma, tell your pa, tell your greasy, greasy grandma, tell your kitty if you got one. Show them how you get down with Big Red and Little Red from time to time. And let them join this wacky thing that we call the Big Red Show. Maybe they'll just like to get on and ride till the wheels fall off too. So, this is Big Red, Little Red for another Big Red Snack Attack. And we'll see you next time at the vending machine. We got shit to do. Got to go. First thing, I got to cover these big old man boobs. <laughs>